Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live Wednesday every, no, we go live at Wednesday at 10 a.m. every week. And we take junk and discarded items, turn them into home decor that we sell in our shop or in our house. We don't sell it at our house. Hold on, try this again. Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. And we take junk and turn it into home decor that we sell in our shop or online at jamierayvintage.com. The reason she's so frazzled oh, is because a Cody ran away this morning. Redrick didn't have the front door shut. We found him. School. Jack is home sick, and she just had to run to the shop and grab me this because last minute, like three minutes before the live stream was starting, she's like, "I need to pour some molds, and we're out of resin." Yes. So here we are. And also, Rex is still outside, so hopefully he doesn't bark. There's just a lot of things, but I got it. Like third times a charm, right? Yeah. Anyways, today we're going to be using. We're not doing home decor. So it's kind of something fun with Christmas coming and everybody trying to find ways that they can DIY fun, actually presents people want. I was like, what do people have at home that they could use to do home to like some presents? So uh, what do you think this is? My favorite Waste Not Wednesday, a tin can. Everything is crafting supplies. Everything. Yes. Don't throw it away. We actually had to open some cans. So today we'll be eating pinto beans and some tuna fish and some, olives. <laughs> and some olives but we are going to be making some bangle bracelets we're going to show you how to use scrap fabric ribbon iod molds maybe even stamp and um we're also going to be showing you different sizes so this is like a regular tin can and then if you need a bigger one this is a tuna, tuna can, can and this actually i can get it on my hand which I would wager that my hand, I, I would take a solid bet that my hand is bigger than 90% of women's hand. So just saying, just hey, throwing that out there. Cans come in all sizes, people come in all sizes. Every now and so, then you, you run into some big girls and they're like six six and huge. And I'm like, hey, what's up? Like but, volleyball players. But it's not common. You're kind of, you have a cousin I'm, who's six two? I have. Two, I have like three cousins that are Make sure I have over six feet tall, but 90, I'm going with a solid 90%. Okay. Another you can option. Fit the tuna can. <laughs> another option that you could do is you can cut your can open and make a cuff. We're not going to do this today because we have the bangles, but then you just slice them, punch a hole, and then you use ribbon to tie it shut. So that's fun if you want an adjustable bracelet. So just keep that in mind. And Zeb's going to show you how to pour some resin. And he's going to be stamping oh, you guys some are all the pros of resin by now, right? Well, show you them which resin we're going to do. You don't need me Do you want me to, to pick which ones I want? Yes. So Jamie has some IOD molds here. That this is the use. lock and key, right? Caitlin, what's this one called? Yes, I believe so. Um, and this is rosette. You could also use Cameo, but I couldn't find mine. Maybe that's why I'm proud like, We've used Cameo a lot. She's like, it's got to be over here. Where is it like, at? Where? And she threw all the molds all over the floor. They're sitting over there right now. <laughs> <laughs> It's a mold mess. Um, I think we should use, so I'm just thinking proportion wise, like this one's good and that one's good. So yeah. those two. Okay. And then as far as these go, just any that are about that size. Okay. All right. He's going to get those started. Give him just the basics on resin pouring. We could have new people here. You never know. Yeah. All right. Oh, so it is the lock and key mold. All right. Amazing sweet. casting resin. This is different from the clear cast. Very important to make that distinction. They almost have the same name. The casting resin dries white and pretty quickly within about five to ten minutes, depending on Sorry. temperature and humidity in your area. Um, this is just scrap where, grain sack fabric. Whereas the clear cast, you're looking at 24 hours, but it does dry clear and hard. It's used a lot for jewelry and, and small items like that. But got side, let's see, I always get them wrong. So side A is the clear or the what the whiter color, and side B is gonna be yellowish. What happened to my Oh, we have a new channel member. Oh, um all right. Milty, did I say Milty Cox is a new member. We will be live for channel members and subscribers on Facebook and Instagram subscribers, because we have that going to next Tuesday at 10 a.m. So mark your calendars if you're a channel member. All right, now oh. I gotta find my measuring cup. It's that... Mitzi. Okay, sorry. I can't see this morning. Does that put it like one foot further than normal? Yeah, we can switch it forward. Um, I can't find Somebody said they cups. liked my shirt, and that's kind of fun because this morning, as I was putting my shirt on, I was like, you know what? We've had these in the shop for a while. We have odds and ends sizing. I really need to buy some new things for spring. So I marked all of our embroidered blouses down to $24.95. That includes shipping. 
and they originally were anywhere from $38.95 to $49.95. Caitlin's got the link, so if she will drop that here, they're already marked down. You don't need to put in a code or anything, and they're free shipping. So if you or somebody you know needs an embroidered blouse for Christmas, I mark them down. All right, so you do equal sides, part A, part B. There's supposed to be a little measuring cup, so I'm glad you randomly got this package because the measuring cups are not in there, and that would be tragic if you if we ship really? one out without measuring. I'll have, I'll have random. Larissa check and make sure they're all good. Um, oh, another new channel member, Bell's Human. Welcome, welcome. Hi. That's fun. We have two videos that we do. Did you tell them already about um, those? No. So if you are, we do two live, extra live videos for channel members plus printables. And so if you are a channel member and you just signed up, just go to community and scroll back. And we did the cutest printables last month. We just put them up like a week yeah, or two that's ago. That's every month that you get that. And you can still access them. You just have to click the link, type in the code, and you can access those printables if you're a channel member. So be sure to do that. Thanks, Caitlin. She dropped the link. Um, this is the Navy embroidered blouse. And just a little heads up on sizing. I got this shirt when I was 140 pounds. I'm currently now 170 pounds. And it still fits. And it's a medium. So they're very generous that way. And I'm also a C cup because I know that matters for like this part. But anyways, super figure flattering. All right. I just used the bottom of this line to measure my equal sides. And we're just going to go with it. I'm going to have a lot of resin, so we're going to do a really quick pour because the more you mix up, the faster it cures. So mix it till it goes clear. It'll get cloudy as you're stirring the two sides together. Usually takes about 30 seconds to a minute. I like to have the little frayed edges, so you can cut it if you don't want to do that. You could use pinking shears, but I like the frays. And this is grain sack fabric that we carry. It's $16.95 a yard. It's flat rate shipping. It's really cute for pillows, but every time I use it, I always have leftovers. I think this is actually from when I upholstered my chairs. So never waste grain sack fabric. Save the scraps because even if I don't have an idea today, I will in a week and you're going to want them. Okay. I was literally laying in bed this morning and I'm like, what could we do for Christmas gifts? that I have all the supplies to, which I guess I didn't because I didn't have the resin, I had to go to the shop for that. But I'm like, what can we do that people might have things on hand? Because even if you don't have the molds or the resin, you could also do like really pretty buttons on them, or you could do no like, add, like added stuff at all. You could just ruffle the fabric. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute, but there's just lots of options. You could also take, we're gonna be using plain drop cloth fabric. So again, if you don't have grain sack fabric, this works really well. Zeb's going to stamp it, and we're going to make it cute with um, IOD stamps. Oh, stamping. It's been yeah. a minute since we've stamped some And stuff. I know you love to stamp, so I, I was thinking I about you. Um, and you could also take the DIY paint that we use. is so pigmented that you could paint your fabric and water it down and dye your fabric. If you want to do like a bohemian-style one, you could do like kissing booth, salty kiss, bohemian blue dye your fabric and do the exact same thing. I mean, I'm making French country ones, but you just, you know, do whatever you need to do. Also, if you like beachy type stuff, you could get our seashell mold and you could do seashells. That'd be really fun. There's lots of fun stuff. Oh, Jana just said she's making a Christmas tree sign with the coastal molds. Nice. It's like I was talking about coastal mold. You were using coastal molds. We were in each other's heads. Uh, maybe use a tape tube. Yeah, you could if it like a masking tape. All right, so to get these not sharp, I cut these. You can use tin snips, but you run the risk of bending your stuff all up. So I used an angle grinder that's in the garage right now with just a cutoff wheel. And if, if you don't have an angle grinder and you want to get one, there's tons of uses for them. I use mine for everything from wood carving to uh, masonry cutting holes in brick to put doors in. Um, my little cheap Black & Decker one is, I think it's up to $30 now, but I've had it for about 12 years and used it a ton on hundreds of projects and it's still going strong. So, you know, I'm sure it would do what you need to cut these. Um, and then I just took, this is a burring tool, a deburring tool, and this is commonly used by plumbers, um, but I just 
went around the edges. This took off the burrs. If you don't have that, this is 220 grit. Just sand it a little and it, it'll smooth right up because you don't want sharp edges because you're going to be wearing these. And you can see here, like, it's not even cutting through my glove. It is thin, but it's not, not even cutting through my glove here now after doing that. So we're good. Also, this would be a great little option if you wanted to make Christmas ornaments, wrap the tin can and then get little figurines and hot glue them inside and you can make Christmas ornaments. I mean, I'm making bracelets, but really when I'm thinking of crafts for Waste on Wednesday, I'm always looking at just shapes of things. And then I think, okay, what do I have that I throw away that is that shape? So every like two or three twists, I'm adding glue. Okay. Do you want to do one? I'm going to let you do or the Or do you want to stamp this yes. for me? I'm okay, while well, that's setting up, he's going to stamp this. I grabbed you a couple options. One is alpha bellies, because I think it's really pretty and underused. And then the other one is the new, I don't know what it's called. It's like the I'm going to newspaper iron this one. really quickly. Okay, what does it need to be? Oh, for stamping? Yeah, so that okay. Stamp. Renee's going to be in, a, in Hawaii for eight more days. She's been having so much fun. Renee's my sister. She's on here chatting. She's been having so much fun with my nephew, David. There's six hours. It's early, early in the morning, Renee. It's like five in the morning over there. Maybe she four, four me. in the morning. She, she missed me. Um, Aren't they six hours ahead of us? I or think four? So. Or maybe they're only four. I'm trying to convince Odelia that she wants to go to Hawaii instead of England for her senior trip because I want to go. <laughs> We've been discussing this. When we go to Europe, the first couple times was like, ooh, ah, magical. Now all it's a the, lot of work. All the which castles is fun, and but... things. And then this last time we went, we were hustling the whole time, like trying to find enough things to ship home. And we did go see some fun things and we ate a lot of yummy food and um, we did a couple castle tours and, and uh, that sort of stuff. But Hawaii is definitely like, let's go hike to some waterfalls and hang out on the beach and lay around. It is definitely more of a vacation. We do buy junk Europe. there every time, though. <laughs> yeah, we always go hit up their thrift shops. They got good, really good rusty patina stuff because they're... That salty air is good. All right. So let me just show you where we're going with this bangle brace. Even just like this, like just wrapped is cute, but we're going to go next level because you know me. Can't just do basic. I'm just cutting off some of the super yeah, long strings. Odelia, we, we told her older brother, it started like this. We, we suspected Harrington might not graduate seminary. We were encouraging him Seminary to is do like that. Bible study every day. Yeah, like it's before for the youth in high school. school. You, you From ninth to 12th grade, you go to seminary and then you graduate and you get a certificate. And it's actually. Um, it's almost here's, like here's, ecclesiastical. Yeah, it's, it's like a, it's almost like once you graduate, it's like a, a ecclesiastical certificate that is honored by most nations. And so the missionaries, the young men go out usually when they're 18, 19 years old for a couple of years. And the young women are a lot of them going out now too um, on missions. And if you have that certificate from seminary, you can go foreign because other countries will let you proselyte in, in their country if you have that. If you don't, and you're like me, and you didn't graduate because you were just couldn't couldn't manage to make all the bills go because I was living on my own last part of my senior year. I didn't graduate from seminary because where we lived it was at six a.m. Well, I went to Connecticut, day. which is fine. That's great too. But <laughs> I was tired. I didn't go. Anyway, but... we were trying to encourage Harrington to do that. He didn't. By he did not graduate. I can't fault him. I did not graduate either. Um, but Odelia is going to graduate, and so she's like, "Hey, do I get to go to Hawaii too?" You told Harrington, so now we're stuck. We got to take her. <laughs> <laughs> so um, somebody asked my favorite island. I actually, we've only been twice and I shouldn't say only because every time you go to Hawaii, it's a blessing, but I really love Kauai, but my nephew lives on Oahu. So we'll probably wind it. If we go, we will go to Oahu, but we got to sell a lot I of crap. I did love Oahu. And maybe we got to sell a lot of stuff to be able to afford to go. Maybe so we'll because see Oahu happens. was our first time and it had that special magic to it. Yeah. Oahu was super fun. Um, but I just, there's like a ton ton of like guy, guy fietti has been through there and there's a bunch of like diners dive-ins and drive situations happening and it's just fun to like eat your way across oahu we just like <laughs> to eat wherever we go all right so next i'm going to add some ribbon this is just english ribbon from the shop i don't think we have this english lace i don't think we have this on the website let me all right. check. i think i'm going to use this one this is from the alpha bellies and it's just a bunch of elements 
that you can use with the, le the letter stamps. You can do them in different colors. So a lot of your old style prints and books, they would have had an element like this. And then over the top of it in a different color, they would have had like the first letter of a paragraph. Um, and so it's really fun to use these like that and just tons of fun little details. I think I'm actually going to use one of these to do the stamping with and then make a strip. That way, when Jamie's wrapping it, you get this pattern. We'll see how good I do. I'm using a dark color, these dark inks. Um, I'm just, I think I'm just going to go with the black. What are you looking for on there? Um, English lace. I'm going to see. And then we got cider. Hello, Cody. No one's even here. That guy. He tried to follow Redrick to school this morning, and they sleep in our room, so we take their collars off at night uh, because they jingle all night, and it's annoying. Um, and he didn't have his collar on, and he got out the front door and was over playing at the park. Tried to follow Redrick to school, and you know, only got as far as the park. <laughs> um, but he's not very smart about cars because he doesn't really, he's not around them. So we get real nervous when he gets out. It only happens about once a month, but he is becoming more and more a little escape artist because he loves to be out. No, I was just checking to see the English lace. Um, we do have it online, but I need to check inventory. So I was going to draft it. All right. So reloaded this stamp pad. This is the IOD stamp pad. And then, oh no, we'll have to cut that part out. I dripped when I was doing my stamp. I'm just gonna freestyle this, meaning it doesn't have a backer on it. So this is probably gonna be kind of a bendy bracelet because I'm using English lace on it. That's all right. You could use whatever you have. So what I'm gonna do to ruffle this on top is I've just added a little bit of hot glue now that I've wrapped my bracelet. And I'm just gonna do a little bead of glue about three inches. This is the same trick that I do when I'm adding trim to like a chair. And I'm just gonna ruffle it, pinch it all the way down. Now be careful because it's like hot this. and it will burn you. So if you have sensitive fingers, use one of those like, what are they, finger condoms? That is not what they're called. I thought that was... They're like, they cover your finger so you don't burn it. I don't know what you call it. Is I it would call them a rubber thimble. Is it a finger, a, a rubber thimble, a finger caught, finger condom, whatever. It covers your finger. You're and it's demonetized. It's, it protects you. So wouldn't that be what it is? All right. Anyways, I'm just going to pinch this around. And my fingers don't have a lot of uh, feeling in them anyways, because I've been a crafter for way too long. But I'm getting this ribbon put around here. This is going to be kind of a Victorian French country vibe. But like I said, if you're watching this and you're like, I hate French country, just use something else. Use bright, bold colors. Dye your fabric with DIY paint. Like there's a lot of options. And what is, did, where did you put Cody? Metal lace would be cool on these. Yes, it would. And we do have, Caitlin, can you drop the link for them? And um, we do have some metal lace still in stock because I bought a bunch because I know people need it for Christmas. And I got tired of ordering like 12 at a time. So I ordered like 48. So what's going on with Cody? He is up there and upset, but nobody, I don't think you can really hear him. Okay. Because we're on our microphones. If you hear him barking, I'm sorry. He's in our room. All right, so this is where I got a little messy with my project. I was loading the ink pad and got uh, ink over there on the side. But since we're cutting these into strips, I think that'll be just fine. Oh, that's cute, the alpha bellies. Yep. Up. There's a lot of noises going on right now. It's I know. distracting me. I got to go fix all of them. Okay, we'll um, just we'll go right back. <laughs> That's our alarm system going boop, boop, boop because the battery is running low. After we're done here today, I'm going to be painting um, the rest of the thrift hall, and Zeb's going to be finishing the kids' bathrooms. We're going to be doing a bunch of projects around the house, getting ready for the holidays, and <laughs> we're doing a refinance. And so I'm like, Zeb, here's the list of stuff we have to do before the appraisal next week. We're getting a lower rate on our equity. Anyways, I was sometimes you have to like have specific reasons to get stuff done. And so I'm like, oh darn, we gotta fix everything and paint stuff up and get the bathroom done. Because we're in the middle of doing the kids' bathroom. Do you guys ever do that? 
you need something done so you have like an absolute reason for it. All right. I just got to see how much more I need. I think that's about right. Um, let's see. Catherine says we could still hear you. We can hear him, but not bad. Okay. Well, I think I got it shushed. He just needed me to know that I, that he knew that we know that he's in there. So the other thing too, is that my mom is out of town and my dogs love my mom. And so they're just like, they don't know what to do. They're a little out of sorts right now. Yeah. She's only been on God a couple of days and they still are like, where's, where's, where's grandma? grandma? Where's grandma? <laughs> they go to, they go stand by her door. All right. So this is cute. Just as is we're getting there. Fun little bracelet. <laughs> Tammy says, I'm eating lunch and almost choked. It's a finger caught. So funny. Gotta love you, Jamie. <laughs> I'm like, I have no idea what those are actually called. I've never used one. I just burned my fingers. Right. I'm just seeing if there's any questions. All right. Mostly just people think I'm funny. Sub thinks I'm inappropriate, but it's fine. Also funny, but you shouldn't laugh at her. <laughs> it just encourages me. All right, I'm just going to cut off. I like the raw edge, but some of this is a little too raw for me. So I'm going to cut off some of the longer. All right, that one is done. So on those, I'm wondering if I should just use that for the ruffle or for the wrap. Well, you do what you want. I'm just going to, oh, on those ones. So I did this, this bangle oh. bracelet is done with the great well, side fabric. Fast. I don't have enough cans for you to be that fast. Well, we're going to do, we're going to add some, I told you this wasn't, you're like, it's going to take a long time. And I'm like, no, it's not. We just need to add the I'm going to be over here still stamping and you're going to be done with six of them. Well, if we get finished early, we could take out last waste, not Wednesday project that we haven't finished painting. No. Remember last week we did that table. We decoupage the top. Guess who never painted the bottom? Two for one. I told him like, if we don't, I wanted to save it for Friday's video. And then He's like, no, let's do it for Waste Not Wednesday. And I'm like, we're not going to finish it. <laughs> Did they tell you when that guy's coming to do the appraisal? No, but I just assume next week. Because they call and schedule. So, chop, chop. It'll be what it is. Oh, I'm it would gonna, be a cute camera. I'm not going to kill myself because every time I've ever been part of an appraisal, um, they don't even care if the house is clean. They don't care. They're like looking for structural and does all the electrical work and is the roof in good shape. You know, that's the stuff they're looking for. I'll just do another one like this. I've got more strips. We're going to have to repaint that door because Cody's scratching it. Well, that's on He's you. your dog. No, no. And he's going to town. He is not happy to be in there. All right, I gotta take this off and go deal with him. You just keep stamping and entertain the people. I will keep stamping and entertaining. <laughs> I'll show you here. I'm gonna finish this strip and then I'll show you guys. Let's see, I gotta squint at the comments. I don't have the eagle eye vision that Jamie. I don't. I don't have her her great eyes anymore. I used to have like 2015. And it was awesome. And now I'm probably like, I don't know, does it go 2025? How does that go? Maybe 2030. Oh, you're going to let him out, are you? I'm going to go stick him. I'm going to let him hit. Look, this is the culprit. His name is Cody. Hi, Cody. Do you want to go sit on the hot tub with Rex? Okay. Pool's heated because we use it in the winter. And they like to go lay out on the cover and just like soak up all that heat. All right. So this is just kind of a fun design anyway. It's almost like a really busy damask. Now, where did I put my? It's right here. All right, that's not focusing. Hang on. It's also darker than it looks on camera. There we have it. There we got it to focus. So I overlapped a couple little spots, but it, That's looks, cute. it looks good. I'm thinking I still want to do this as a backer and I'm going to use that as the ribbon. Okay. So I'll So did you started. try that one on when you got it done or did you just yeah. get it done? Oh, that's nice. And I have like a regular size hand and wrist. I'm not going to lie. I was skeptical, but that looks like something that's actually nice that, yeah, people, super cute. that people would wear. It's kind of Victorian, kind of steampunk. And if you don't want it like quite so chunky, you could just make it skinnier. When she when she was waking up this morning, she's like, Zeb, Zeb, 
I need you to cut up a bunch of tin cans. We're going to do bangles, bangle bracelets. And then I went on Pinterest bracelet. and didn't see anything quite like it. So I was like, definitely a good idea. I did see Mark Montano did one with leather and rhinestones. No offense to him, but not really my jam and not like this at all. But I didn't really see anything else. I looked up like tin can bracelets and just not a whole lot popped up. So I did, if you wanted to do like a clasp, where'd my other piece go? I had a big old piece of tin over here. If you want to do a clasp, you could cut it, but it just know it is kind of thinner. It's not like a thick copper. Oh, here it is. I don't need to do everyone. So I just, I cut it apart and rounded the edges. Um, but then you'd have to shape it. I probably would do like a detail on it, you know, but you could do bigger. This is a whole can. You could do bigger molds and stuff too, if you wanted. But do you want to bend these while they're still pliable? Do I need to bend them? That one's longer. Oh yeah, I will. Let me just finish gluing this. Can you show a close up? Can you show a close up of this? Yes. Yeah. Whenever I get close to the camera, bad things happen. That's something. Not true. Something gets knocked over. Yeah. How is it getting it on and off with your tiny little hands? Why I show them how? On there. It's not hard. You do want to keep it like fairly taut because taut is that a word? Yeah. Because um, you don't want to give too much bulk to the oh. inside. I also think it would be really cute with velvet, like velvet ribbon wrapped around would be gorgeous. I just didn't have any, but I'm loving this grain sack fabric. It's really pretty. So if you need to make yourself a pillow, <laughs> buy a yard of grain sack fabric and then save all the scraps. All right. So let me just decide which ones. The real ticket is will Eliza and Odilia wear these? All right. So this is what I'm thinking. I don't know if they will, but I will. So what I'm thinking will work well with this. So Are I'm you gonna going to do copper on it. Yeah, but I need where can you go grab me the oh you're stamping. I'm gonna put painter's tape on this to hold this in place and then I'll paint the other ones because they don't really need to be um bent. Yeah, that one's long. So if you're just joining, this is like a shop rag that we get from Harbor Freight for uh, it's like $13 for 50 of them, something like that. You could also just use an actual drop cloth. It's basically drop cloth, yeah. Cut a little off for crafting and use the rest for painting. <laughs> do you want me to cut this in strips for you? How wide do you want the strips to be? Uh, that wide? Oh, so not very wide. Okay. All right, so what I'm doing with this resin, because it just came out, is I am trying to get it to stay curved. I'm just using the world's cheapest painter's tape that would be horrible for painting a room but works for everything else to hold this down while it cures and then I'm going to paint these other ones you don't need quite that many because how many bracelets are we doing we're only doing three bracelets well I can go make more cans real quick well it's 10 31 so we'll see how that goes I'm just going to do two There's rosettes no rule that says we so, can't end a little early and get to my bathroom project. so I like this rosette because we so are filming good. the bathroom project. That'll be on a video. I want to do another lock and key. And I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to paint these two. Stick those in my miscellaneous pile. I might do more of these today and get them listed up on the website. I think I would sell these by the time I'm all finished for anywhere from like $16 to $19 a piece. They are so going to be so stinking cute. All right, next. There's a strip. Ooh, I like that. Let me see. That actually looks really good cutting a strip like that. What, are you surprised? No. So I actually think I want this with a plain background. So we'll have to cut the grain sack fabric where there's not a stripe because I think that's too busy. So I'll do another one that matches this and then I'll do another one with this. This will be the ruffly part. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's going to be a ruffly part. But I got to paint these real quick so they can dry. Let me get a little artist brush. So these are hemmed. So I'm just cutting off the hemmed area so that it fits with Jamie's frayed theme. Brush We're done with the resin, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all you needed was a few of yeah. those. It just takes a little dab of resin. I, I didn't use hardly any at all. I don't know if you can see, like, it, it's these are eight ounces each, so oh, together they're the 16. Speed? 
They make uh, 16 With... ounces of resin, but while you're going around, would you pass me the copper? An ounce, maybe, to make all those molds. Can you grab that copper patina? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a brush for it? Yes. So this is the quick casting resin and it dries white. We carry it on our website. The clear resin takes 24 hours. So and there's no need to use clear resin for what we're gonna do. There you go. That's what the box looks like. In fact, I prefer the white because it makes the copper, the pennies from heaven stand out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these painted. No, no, that's not even focusing. There we go. When they're dry, I'll show them to you up close, but they're just going copper and then I'll use a dark wax. I think we actually need to update our website. The bo they've changed the box on us. Um, and so that picture is not what's on the website. But amazing cast. I think if you guys have been following me for any length of time, you've seen me paint copper and dark wax like a million times, especially this season, because it's like my favorite thing to do for Christmas ornaments. If you're going to be doing little detail like this, um, these JRV stencil brushes are perfect because you don't have to waste so much paint like you do if you use a bigger brush or like any of the turquoise iris brushes are good too. And then I'll rinse this and I can use it to wax. Oh, Cooper's on here. Hey, Cooper, look, I'm we, we can make bracelets for your mom. Does your mom wear jewelry? I love making Cooper craft. <laughs> do you think she'd wear this? We could, well, we don't have a little, she likes pigs and we could make a big pig cuff. I mean, his dad wears pig shirts to church. She should be able to have a pig bracelet. Is there something about crafty big guys that? No, just Cooper's that, good. That he's, you love? He's good at crafting. <laughs> okay, so here those are painted. We'll let them dry. And then the other one that's setting up on here, once that's um, hardened, I will go ahead and paint it. She says, yeah, he says, yes, she wears bracelets. All right, well, we'll have to make her some for Christmas. She's going to be like, listen, Cooper, tell Jamie to stop buying me pig stuff and making me crap for my house. <laughs> I like to make stuff and I like to buy stuff. It's just the way it is. And you can't keep it all. All right, what's I doing next? And I, what do you mean? That's the rules. You can't. I can't keep it all. <laughs> we already have uh, a garage and a, and a barn problem. A barn. I don't really think it's a problem so much as it's like inventory. Mm -hmm. This one, I'm gonna use this one because the stripe's a little similar. Cooper's a good sport. Um distressed Darlin was thinking about leaving her lights up. Zeb would do that if he had to actually put them up. I have left my lights up for years at a time. I'm like, look, we'll just plug them in next year. Our neighbor does our lawn care spraying. Um, and so in the winter time, they do lights and we just like to support them. That's why we have Christmas lights. And Zeb finally put on a timer. I'm hoping today my vintage nativity perfectly. blow mold gets an extension cord and I can put light up the nativity. I paid five bucks and I got Jesus, Mary, and Joseph on Facebook Marketplace like four years ago. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. I'm just seeing it. All right. I don't question. think you're going to need this many strips, but you've got a lot now. Does this make you a stripper? Yes. I'm bad today. I'm just going to drink my water. I don't know where this is coming from, even. I did eat breakfast. I blame low blood sugar. I need you to make me some pancakes. Yesterday, I made pancakes, and they were really good. I and put on Instagram. It was just Jamie and I, so I saved a bunch of batter instead of making up all the pancakes because heated pancakes aren't that great. Can I have the scissors real quick? Yep. I put on Instagram um, and Facebook in my stories, do you like syrup on your sausage or bacon? Because Zeb does. Jamie has to have a whole separate plate for, like, anything that – doesn't go with syrup like her hash browns or her eggs or her bacon or her sausage. Most people Me, said I'm that like, they like it. I'm like stirring my eggs and bacon in the syrup. <laughs> 77% on Instagram said let the syrup touch the bacon. So I was wrong. Oops, I missed a little. There we go. Let's mush that together. Okay, this one's going to get more lace. Is this the lace I was using earlier? Yeah. yeah. Now that this is cut into strips, show them what this looks like here. It's just some fun, fun design on there. On camera work with me. There we go. 
Janine says, I'm with Jamie, right? Okay, I'm gonna start my glue strip. Would you cut this into strips, but not where there's the red? Yes. And then we can wrap this tuna fish can. Ironically, that tuna can, when I opened it, I've never had this happen with tuna before, but maybe it's because I've always used a spoon. I was, it wasn't quite fitting in my little container that I had. And so I pushed it down and now I smell, my hands smell like I've been fishing. You smell like a fisherman? I just they don't smell it. like the tuna fish. They smell like I've been fishing. They smell like fishing. Which is different. <laughs> a fishy smell. Fishing. Can you fish in the winter? I guess ice fishing. Oh, yeah. The fish are still there. The fish are still, I mean, I guess I don't know where they go. I've never been fishing. Can you tell? I'm going to just try to strip down the edge here. It, fishing requires lots of patience and sitting there quietly. Although I did make it through hunting with you, but I just played a lot of Candy Crush on my phone. And where I had cell service, I, I did some work. We were like, was, just enjoy getting away. I'm we like, we were Listen. out in the middle of nowhere, but we were at the very top of the mountain and she had two bars and she was over there living it up. <laughs> getting my work done. I can work from anywhere. Do you do raisin art? You mean resin art? Resin art. We, I mean, does it count? Does this count as resin art? I paint resin. I've we, done some big pours and like done um, lit resin in a desk. Yeah, we have a video like a for resin river in a desk. My oldest son's room. We, he, we did a Lehigh Pioneer theme because that's our high school, and he plays football and well, he played football and did wrestling, and we did a purple, right? We do yeah, a purple, purple river resin pour. Yeah. So yeah, I guess some. Um, um, but mostly we just do the molds. My my grandkids love to um, dip their sausage in syrup. I, that's Those just good kids. It's just wrong. I mean, I guess to each their own. Some people don't like chippy Jamie paint. Doesn't, this I is don't, not just syrup. I like she chippy never paint. mixes her sweet and savory. And if it is like something that's mixed like that, it's like she won't eat it. Like the McGriddle at McDonald's? No. <laughs> I also don't do ham and pineapple on my pizza. Oh, that's so good too. The Hawaiian. She also doesn't like honey glazed ham. That's also true. Me, I'm like, mix them up. The, the more mixing, the better. All right. All right, I think two strips of this fabric here. should be enough for what you have going on right. you have one left to do i know i'm well i still have more to do to it we gotta we gotta bring it home here uh i recently poured my kitchen counter block with mica powder oh that sounds pretty leah you actually carry the clear so casting cast resin if you want it does uh like that sort of resin like a resin uh coating on your countertop or table froggy yeah, just tuned have. in um what are you making i am making bracelets so, bangle bracelets. Bangle bracelets. Um, but like I said, wouldn't this be so cute as an ornament? You put some like some sort of like a bottle brush tree in here. It's like a bracelet. And then you could just tie a ribbon and hang it. So we're making bracelets, but you know, same thing. All right. So this is the tuna fish can. We also have, if you've got really big wrists and hands, uh, the chicken breast from Kirkland is significantly larger like i probably wouldn't even have to squish my hand to get it in here. i feel like the chicken breast is going to be a little large tuna big. can is about right if you need a bigger one so you can see the difference there but anyway use the grinder to cut these down angle grinder odelia's and on here odelia now is cooper still on here because odelia's on here now aren't you guys supposed to be in school i mean i know it's wednesday so classes are short which is good because you need to clean your room. Okay, is this dry? Those are mostly dry. Can you heat gun that and then we'll dark wax it? I really want that to be set up before I start working. I have another one that needs wrapped if you got. If I'm feeling saucy. Yeah, if All right, Zeb's gonna heat gun these. He's gonna show you how to dark wax that DIY copper patina. If you guys need the product we're using, JamieRayVintage.com is where you can get the paint, the brushes, Grain sack, resin, molds. We don't sell the tin cans. We don't sell the tin cans. You're going to have... Well, I mean, if you need me to. Oh, Cooper's still on here, too. Uh, I can't remember the second stamp she said. So we have Alpha Bellies, 
So and the what's the newspaper one? I didn't use the newspaper. But one. what is it called? Newsprint. News is that what it's called? For sure. No, it's the French newspaper. Uh, Le Courier. Le Courier, otherwise known as newsprint in French. That's the other stamp set. Oh, Cooper's done with everything. Gotcha. I think he only has like one or two classes on Wednesdays. I don't. I can't. I don't even keep track of my own kids' schedule. I can't even keep track of Cooper's life too. All right, wrapping this. Do you want me to do? Do we have another? I have dark wax. Would you grab another stencil brush though? That one's got. Yeah. Or you can just wash this one out. Do we have this another? Um, I'm done. Oh no, I'm not done. I can do. An, I can do the courier stamp just to show them. Good. All right. Um, you can do whatever you want. I know. Oh, Cooper just finished his CNA test, so now he can go home. You think you passed, Coop? I'm sure he did. He's a smart kid. Oh, am I dark waxing these? I feel like that was my cue. What? Yeah, well, I can't wrap the bracelet and wax and, you know. I'm just the mise en place guy. The mise en place. Okay, this one's curved so we need to paint this one you want to do that first yeah you want to show them how the so what i did when this just came out of the mold the resin as i taped it to my surface so that way it would get the shape and zeb's going to paint it so that way when i glue this onto my bangle bracelet it's the right shape he says yeah he thinks he passed that's good that's good the question is does odelia have comp practice tonight or can you guys go on a legit date <laughs> these kids are so Between busy. football season and cheer they mostly just come hang out and, and play video food. games i did buy coop i don't know if i told you but i bought two more boxes of dino nuggets because <laughs> he was looking in the fridge i'm like hey what are you after what do you what do you want i could probably tell you where it's at and he's like he's like i don't know what i want and then he saw the dino nuggets he's like oh dino nuggets the distressed darling, yes, Seb did sand them. Um, oh, I yeah. wouldn't want to wear this without wrapping it, just because even though it's not super sharp, it'd just be uncomfortable. So wrapping it with fabric. They're very thin. Really, yeah, they're really thin. Really helps. Cooper says yes with four exclamations. I do what I can. Food is my love language. So if I feed you, you know that I love you. If you sure. come to my house and I don't offer you food, then something's going on. <laughs> I've never seen it actually. You don't know. <laughs> Lately, when people come over, they get offered milk. Like, would you like to take some milk home? Although we've been making cheese, so that uses up a little bit of milk. I my second my first round of mozzarella was kind of clumpy, had like real soft spots. I think it's because I added the salt at the wrong stage. My second round, though, uh, turned out really great. Cooper says and he's done. Like, he's dino deprived. I asked her mom when I went to Costco on Saturday if she needed me to pick her up anything. Because they have, a, so Cooper's family has like a barn that they rent out to sports teams. And Jack was doing his football practice inside in their barn. And so I went to Costco while he was at practice. And it's right next to their house. So you could have had dino nuggets. I could have bought you some. So this is what Jamie's talking about the curve on there. When we first demolded it, when it was still pliable before it was fully set up it was enough that it was dry enough we could touch it but it wasn't fully cured and it actually got a little more pliable when i heat gunned it too um you can microwave them if your molds have been sitting around usually about 30 seconds 15 to 30 seconds if you go too long in the microwave you're just going to really cure up that plastic and it'll get brittle um so about 30 seconds and then they'll be pliable again. You can usually do that once or twice. If you have to do it a bunch, they're going to get rid of it. The nice thing about making the ruffle with the this fabric is that there's not holes in it. So I'm not burning myself like the lace. Just saying. So have you made, you? I had four out here, right? So you've made three. two. There's one right there. It's like a sweatshop around here. It can work. <laughs> finish this one and I'll get to that one. Slacker. Are your chickens giving out any eggs? So we've been giving them all the chick, like the house scraps and we've been putting a light on them part of the day and um, our chickens are laying six to nine eggs a day. And 
Some of our chickens I got this summer, I think are starting to lay because I'm getting colors of eggs I've never got before. So once they all start laying, even in the winter, we'll be fine. And in the summer, it's going to be eggs for everybody because we have 33 chickens. Well, one of them's a rooster, so he can't lay eggs, but we it helps we fertilize have, them. We did have, we lost one of the bantams this winter. Yeah, she took a dive in the water dish. I don't, I've never seen that happen with our chickens. But I think it was just cold and she got in there and locked up. Poor bantam. Well, no, but was it, did, wasn't it our heated water dish? Mm-hmm, it was heated. You I'm need to eat cold. too. Look, your fingers are all shaky. Oh, no, that's because I'm... Yeah, so our basket's fairly full. You guys want to see our egg basket? So, so the trick to getting eggs in the winter, which we do... Lots of protein. Um, feed them lots so that they don't... Because if they're having the... That's what they use to make heat. If they're, if they're hungry, they're going to keep warm and not make eggs. Cooper, do you want to come over the house? You but, can be in the live, but we're going to be done in 11 but minutes. Also, I don't know if you can make it here by then. Also, it has to do with how much light their combs get. Like, if you keep a light on them in the morning, um, my, my friend Wyatt, he keeps a timer on his light for his birds. It comes on at 5 a.m. He doesn't leave it on all night. But our birds, it helps keep the coop warm, so I leave it on. Um, and Cooper's they, coming over. They seem to sleep just fine. I haven't had any issues. Uh, but anyway, so if they get, they, they cycle with the season. So if it's summertime, they're going to lay more eggs. If it's wintertime, they're not. But if you keep a light on them, they lay all year round. Will these be posted, the bracelets? Yes. Once I get them finished, I will get them measured. I will take photographs and I will list them on the website. And I'll probably make more because I might have family members that need some. And it's easy. Yeah. It's like... Fine. It's gluing fabric and then just ruffling it. Are you showing them the pinch method? Yeah, this is the. This is also how I make my pie crust. I pinch it all the way around the edge. Okay, so I dark wax these this copper to kind of give it. So it's not. We don't want it to look like bright, fake, shiny, not real copper. Uh, Vivian, we can ship to Mexico if if you can't check out on the website. Email info at jamierayvintage.com and Caitlin will help you. Jenna says we're legit farmers now. I mean, I'm close enough. I mean, we, we have our own milk and I did grow a decent garden this year that we ate out of. In fact, I just had to buy tomatoes for the first time because I don't know if you guys know this, but at the end of the growing season, before your first freeze, pick off all your green tomatoes, put them in a five gallon bucket. Be sure to rotate them because the ones on the bottom will get ripe first and you will be able to ripen almost all of those tomatoes and eat them. And here we are, December 6th. And I just bought my first pack of Costco tomatoes because we had enough. We still have a bunch canned too. So really, I mean, we could keep going with the, the homegrown tomatoes because yeah. we canned a ton. And it's funny because I'm just about to start. I need to think like the end of January, beginning of February, I'll start my seedlings for next year's crop. All right. So this gives, the copper gives it some nice age. Or the, the dark wax on the copper, I mean. That's cute. And these are the keyhole molds. Zeb, you want to show them this one? Yeah. This is the one that Zeb stamped. This is great if you're a new stamper and this is because you rosettes. can't tell if you mess up. This is out of the rosettes mold. Oh, and this is the one I stamped. Check that out. How much do Han and Chewy weigh each? Probably well over 100 pounds. Oh, they're probably like 120. They're actually on a diet right now. I'm worried, like Han struggles to stand up, and I'm like, dude, you ate too much this summer, so I'm trying to help him out. <laughs> do you do the potatoes in a barrel? I have not, but I've been looking into it. I am going to start some um, alfalfa sprouts here. I've done that before, and I got my jars and my little I would wager by next winter we have a greenhouse so that we can grow in the winter and then shut it off in the summer and cycle it. All right, so this one I like a lot. <clears throat> I want to find where I can't even find where my seam is. I was going to put it on the seam. That's how I, good your ruffle is. Is it right here? No, you're right there. Okay. Just because even though you can't see it, I just think it's good to cover that. So if you have your seam for where your ribbon or your ruffle lines up, then that's where you can put this. And then if you can see it at all, you won't be able to see it. You, you can want also me to do wrap one of these just plain. What? You want me to wrap one of these for you? Yeah. Um. Do we? I I like the plain one, but. I like this one a lot. Which one do you like? Which one do you guys like better? Do you like the plain one? Actually, you know what? Go ahead and do that one like this because then we'll have like a larger one and a smaller one. Okay. Um, now I gotta find my seam again. 
I thought it was like right here. Oh, there it is. All right. We have the hot glue gun. We're going to have to share it. That's okay. Um, so this, we get asked about it all the time. We have the Milwaukee battery system, and they don't actually make a glue gun. So I Googled it, and I found on Amazon this off-brand glue gun that works with this battery. And I don't know if Caitlin's still on here, but maybe she can link it. But it works really good. So if you have Ryobi, with, I was nervous because I don't like putting my batteries on off brand stuff and it's been it's been fine and it works really well. And you can use the smaller batteries to make it lighter if this is too heavy. And if you're doing a lot of crafts, this 5.0 battery, if you've got the Milwaukee tools, it lasts on here for like three hours, just running nonstop. Add this piece right here. All right, so I'm just going to glue this on. Once this glue dries, I'll come back and add a little bit more glue just to solidify the situation. Are there advantages to using air, resin to air dry clay? You could not do this with air dry clay. It needs to go like on something that's not moving and with a really solid back, whereas this is a bracelet. So this fabric's not solid. It's gonna go on and off at wrist. It would crumble. It would not hold up. The air dry clay is really great for like decor and furniture, especially if it's rounded, cause then you don't have to worry about bending the resin. You can just shape it to all your curves and things you need. Rose um, restorations. We do the Amazon program. I don't have a lot in my January vintage shop, but Caitlin does, she can look up the link. So anytime Caitlin posts an Amazon link, even if you don't buy that item, if you just click through that link and buy anything we get credit for, it's not a lot, it's like 50 bucks a month, but it does help me with my craft buying. <laughs> Cause I'll see something and get inspired and I buy the, the crap to make it. And then it sits there for a significant amount of time till I actually do it. Tell them about your popsicles. My popsicles. That we found when we were oh. out the pantry. So I saw, I saw an influencer do, um, popsicles like her own homemade popsicles so i bought the mold i bought the sticks i bought the the plastic things so we can individually wrap them did i make popsicles this summer no but i did help zeb finish the shop restoration so i feel like i still was winning and i grew a garden but i did not make popsicles but zeb's like <laughs> what is this and i'm like well i you know <laughs> late at night i watched somebody make popsicles and i needed to have it so next year i'm gonna make them and also, we use the little, they're like really, really thin plastic that you can put the popsicles in so they don't stick in the freezer. Um, we use those for when we're freeze drying and we want to make individual snack size bags that the kids can take on the go. Zeb throws like the bananas because I just did bananas last week. Zeb throws them in there and you heat seals them with our heat sealer and they can take them. I'll show you. This yeah. Fun. And we got the bananas for free. I had a neighbor that got a bunch um, from somebody that buys in bulk and they were gonna go bad. And she's like, could you use these bananas? I'm like, Ray's always need food. So, so yes. I just do these little, how many bananas did you do at once? In the mm, six bunches of bananas. The little popsicle bags work great and dried out. I mean, these, I didn't even vacuum them. I just sealed them up and these last for, I don't know, they probably last a year or two, not without any, oxygen uh, absorber or vacuum seal so all right so here's the first bangle that's finished <laughs> want to show this to them we're gonna as soon as we get a half a second we're gonna do i don't know if it'll be a homesteading type channel but we're gonna do lots of cooking how cute that and is. ideas and gardening and things um on on our other channel we we mentioned it a little while back and we just haven't got a video up on there yet so we're we're gonna get there because we love doing it and we get so many questions about it. And I feel like it's totally possible to do like a garden and have some chickens in a smaller area. And sometimes people think, oh, I can't homestead because I'm renting or because my backyard's not very big. And most cities, check your city, but most cities count hens as a domestic animal. Um, and so you can have them in town. Next. Like, three or four of them, five. I mean, if you got five hens, that's you're getting cute. three, four eggs a day. That's enough for most families. Here's the seam. This rosette one is really cute. We don't use this mold enough. We need more glue. Did you use up? Do I need to cut another strip? Did I what? I need to cut another strip. I don't know. Oh, this would be cute if you put like 
um, two of the little ones on it. Do we have any little I ones? I had some poured? little ones that I poured, but I don't know if they They don't match. Yeah. Do you have any matching of those in here? There might be. Let me see. Oh, there's two of these that are oh. already painted. Let me see. Yeah, can you dark wax these ones? So these are from the cameo mold. Here, that's They're like enough on there for those. The teeny tiniest little ovals, and you could make earrings out of them too. But we already had them poured and copper from when I was doing our um, advent. We made, we used our Jamie Ray vintage advent paper and did a really fun advent. The kids have really been enjoying it. Cooper was teasing us. He was over here the other night. And we light a candle, like one candle every night. And then by the end, we had like 24 lit up. And he's like, happy birthday, because it was Odelia's turn to blow it him out, blow the candles out. Um, do you have a favorite chicken? And do any of them have names? So we used to name them, but we have too many. And I don't have a favorite chicken. I love them all equally. There is a rooster, though, that came with our hens. They we can name him, because we would definitely They were supposed to all be hens, but... And he's he's a big pretty rooster. I'm not sad that we have him because now we can incubate eggs too. We could let the, the bantams sit on them, but I don't trust them. Sometimes they're not in there sitting. We might accidentally get some. Um, so somebody asked, how do you know if it's a fertilized egg? Deb? So okay, if you have a rooster, chances are <laughs> he's been fertilizing all of them. Yeah. So that yeah, it's really high chance that. All Our rooster takes his job very seriously. So if you need to have the talk with your kids and kind of explain it in a not horrible way, just take come shop Jamie Ray Vintage at our shop, go around back and go find the rooster. <laughs> Birds and the bees taught by Jamie Ray Vintage roosters. Um, right. Anyway, there'll be like a little, uh, almost like a little blood spot in there on your egg. Oh, Jana says, got to say your JRV Christmas decoupage papers are the bomb. Thank you. They're super fun. And I love seeing what people do with them. So you got this. So I'm just using these to just extend this little design on my bracelet a little bit more. And I love things in threes. So I'm going to have the big rosette in the middle. And then I'll use these little tiny ovals from the cameo mold. Look who showed up just in time for Dino Nuggets. Good, he can make some for Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Maria D.I. says, what are you creating? We're making bracelets today. So I'm almost Bangle done with this bracelets. To you. Oh, the door's locked. <laughs> the keeper's locked out. So Rex is super smart, and he's figured out if this door here isn't locked, he can get up there and he paws at the knob until he can open the door. So we've had to start locking like oh. all the doors during the day or Rex get, lets himself out. <laughs> yeah, Cooper just got here, but yeah, Cody snuck out. So I've been locking that door because it opens. You wanna come say hi, Cooper? Sure. And then can you- Oh, he's in his scrubs. You look super official. Yes. This is Odelia's bo boyfriend, Cooper. He is not my son. I have to like make sure that we clarify <laughs> that. Can you go check on Jack? He's sure. in, laying down on the floor and my mom's bathroom. He's not feeling good. So make sure he's okay. But don't get too close. We don't know what he has yet. Yeah. I might come in later and just add a little extra glue. I don't know that my wrap was as expert as your wrap. I'll show it to you on my wrist. It's okay because it gets covered up with like the ruffle ribbon. I thought, are these even? I might have to fix them. He is dead asleep. All right. Dead asleep? Well, there you go. Did you check for signs of life? Yes. <laughs> did, you, did you check his vitals? <laughs> Thanks, Scoop. Yep. All right, we're almost done. You missed, you missed out on the slave labor, but I'll still make you nuggets. Um, so my wrap, I actually kind of just think this is cool just like this, too. All, All right, the problem is that just with the that regular. I, you like added a lot of fabric, but it still fits. I wanted it to be extra padded. All right, you can get it on. Yeah, I can get it on and off, and it doesn't hurt. It's flexible, soft fabric. Okay, so we need to figure which one we're going to do on this one. Oh, you need to make that decision. That. I actually love the keyhole, but well, that is that one too long though. Yeah, that one hangs over the edge. Oh yeah, I don't like that. So use one of these. I mean, well, it's okay to go. This one's like a little this, bit over the edge. I like this flower, and I'll. This this rosette looks like a flower. Here. I just feel like 
they need more on each side. Let me see what I got in my bag of tricks here. Like I like, like I like this one, right? But then it needs more around each side. So I'm wondering if you, we can microwave these. So let's paint these and microwave them, and then we can use them on either side of this. That's what I'm saying. Or I could just cut them. But oh, can you fix the camera? Oh, we're over an hour. Yeah. Shocking. Oh, and this one's gonna need more glue. People know they're filming if they're sitting at our bar. Yeah, I mean, if you look at our front door, it's full of glass. They, people know what's going on. They're like, why is there a camera there? Oh, before we, is there even a curtain on the window upstairs by your office? No. So we we store on our, the... we store our DSLR, which is what we film on upstairs by Zeb's desk. I and for like the, the, the me, whatever. <laughs> And for the longest time, it was facing like out the window. And I'm like, our neighbors probably think we're filming them. It's just there. We're not, it's not on. I face it like that on purpose. So you could be the creepy neighbor? I don't know. Because it cracks me up. All right. If you're just tuning in, I will have Caitlin link it again. I just marked down the top that I'm wearing to $24.95 and all of our embroidered blouses. So some of them range anywhere from like $38.95 to $49.95 originally. So if you need a shirt, we got you. Also, um, people ask us all the time if we offer gift certificates and you can buy Jamie Ray Vintage gift, gift certificates. I can't even talk today. And you can tell, like, if your kids need to know what to get you, just be like, just give me a gift certificate. And then you can buy craft supplies. You can buy clothes. We have, like, spa products. We have all the things on the website. How heavy is my glue gun? How much would you say this weighs? Like, four um, pounds? The battery, pounds? you can get smaller batteries, and that's going to significantly reduce the weight. I would say it's about a pound and a half to two pounds. But most of that is battery. So if you get the smaller, like, the 2.0 batteries, um, they're not going to last as long, but they definitely are lighter. Everybody says hi to Cooper and then see if there's any other questions. No questions. All right, I'm gonna do the ribbon on this one. We might not get these all the way finished. Can you just go through this? I'm gonna just heat gun them because it does the same thing. Oh, really? Yep. They got all kinds of soft when I heat gunned it. All right, perfect. Well, I'll get this done and then we can put those on this one. But they need to be um, dark waxed. You're gonna do that after you heat gun them? Yeah. I don't want to melt the wax. Yeah. It's all melty when it's hot. Like I said, if you don't like burning your fingers, you could just use fabric instead of ribbon because if you use lace like I did, it will definitely go through there and burn your little fingers. Okay, I think those are dry. Let's see if you really went next level on this wrapping here. I know I put a lot on there. That's why so. you're in charge of all first aid at the house. <laughs> that and I don't really love blood. I have done a lot of first aid situations. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin. She dropped a link to the blouses that are on sale. We will be live again tomorrow in the shop, either in the morning before we open or um, after six. If you're on Instagram, we went live yesterday. That was fun yeah. live. First time we ever went live on Instagram. Oh, is it the first? Uh, first time at the shop. Uh, first time at the shop, I guess I should say. I have done Instagram lives before, but. I think I'm going live on TikTok, but I don't know who's going to show up. She's nervous. I don't know why. I like lots of people to talk to, and if nobody's commenting, I don't know what to say. Oh, Denise said her sister-in-law gave her a gift certificate to Jamie Ray Vintage, and it was the best gift. Sweet. Nice. Uh, Jenny Hendrick says, just don't leave the telescope pointed at the neighbors. Yeah, no telescopes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. There's not a lot of two-story houses in our area, and ours is, so it kind of stands out. And it's it, we have a really great view of the mountains. Yep, all of our upstairs rooms. I'm just time lapsing, time lapsing the mountains. That's what's happening. I'm just creeping out the neighbors. Okay, that one's done. Those I can glue on here, and then we will be finished. We hardly ever finish our stuff all the way on a live video, so this might be like the first one. All right, this one's ever. warm enough to be bendy. 
Lexi Bendy. Yep. If you hold it while I need to heat that one up some more. This one, I you can bend it if you want. I bent it a little bit. To decide where I want to put this. This one needs more heat. I have to hold this for a while though. I Just might tape it that in place. Hot glue dries. Oh, that end's coming. Don't worry. You gotta fix it. I got it. I had to. I ended up having to heat gun the wax anyway. Luckily, I wiped most of it off. It seems like it's staying put. Hold this while it dries. And if I need to add more glue, I can. Does the glue have a smaller tip for small items? Um, no. Um, no, it's just a regular size. It's kind of industrial strength, I would say. Oh, that's really bendy. And I. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here and then just put it on top. Oh, I broke it. I can't think you can glue that. Um, no, but now I got glue here. Let me see. Here, just do it like that. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, now it's fine. It's just different on the other side. No, it's got to match them. Weirdo. Which this has to go on the top. All right. All right, put some glue right there on the end, and I All think right, it'll be on. fine. Load it up. Do you, need, do you need me to help you hold it? Yeah, here, glue that in place. That little end needs to go kind of over that tip. This one's going to go on here like so. I will come back and fix all these later. Okay, let's do some close-up shots and then we'll microwave dino nuggets. <laughs> All right, this is the first one that we did with the big long piece and it does fit on my wrist. Super cute. This is a rosette mold and then it's got Zeb stamped fabric all the way around the edge, also cute. This is another of the rosette molds, but then I used a cameo mold on the side to see if I can get it to focus. They're a little uneven, but I'll fix that when we're no longer live. And then, can you show that one up close? Um, yeah. Did, if it doesn't work out, we'll just pour another one. In well, give me just a second. It'll be, the glue's still drying. Everything's warm. All right. So I don't think I can show it up close. All right. Well, you guys just have to imagine. I will get these perfected, everything glued, and nothing moving around and listed up on the website at jamierayvintage.com. If you need the paint and products or a cute top, also jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Have a great Wednesday.